Hey guys, I'm in Dallas with the 2019 Ford F-150 Limited. It's a brand new model because it has a special new engine under the hood. And even though it's raining pretty hard, I wanted to give you a quick look, first look, about on this new truck. Here's the rear. And I also have Brian Bell from Ford to chat with about this special truck because there's a lot of neat features and a new interior as well. So let's see. Hey, Brian. Good, good afternoon. Come on in. Okay, hold on. It's, it's raining quite hard. Hold on one sec. <laughs> hold on. Okay. This is kind of real world, dude. That's perfect. That's what we like. Okay. Authentic. <laughs> So, can you just introduce yourself for the folks? Uh, sure, I'm Brian Bell. I am the F-150 and Ranger Marketing Manager at Ford Motor Company, uh, based out of Dearborn, and we're down here in Dallas today for this uh, 2019 Limited Drive. Really excited about it. So you're a pretty busy man. It's not dull. Yeah, there's a lot going on at the company, but we like it that way. <laughs> All right, so this is a 2019 model, and you've had the Limited truck before, obviously, yes, in your lineup. Yep. So, uh, so what are you doing to bring it kind of to the next level? Well, so so we've had the, you're right. The first limited was introduced in 2008, and uh, and we've upgraded it over the years. But we're really excited about 2019, what we've done with it. So the first thing, the biggest story is we put the Raptor powertrain in this. So it's got the high output 3.5 EcoBoost tied to the 10 speed with the true dual exhaust out the back. Um, it's fantastic, right? You get 450 horsepower, 510 foot pound of torque, okay. tremendous amount of power, tremendous amount of capability. Um, drives phenomenal, like a, a you know, you get to experience when you're driving it today. Um, so really, really excited about that. But then some of the other stories we did, we really kind of upgraded this uh, this truck even farther into the, well, into yeah, the luxury let's, world. Let me so. just kind of sit, sit forward here for a second. And the interior. Oh yeah, so so we've got really high grade leather in here and it's it's, it's our new saddleback leather inside. So uh, uh, we, we start with that. The wood's been updated to our, a dark ash, uh, a dark ash swirl is actually the technical name for it, but mm -hmm. real wood. Uh, the finishes are real aluminum next to the wood that you see. I mean, we've even done things, we even have a suede headliner in this truck. So really, really upscale for those customers that, that truly need a truck, but they really like that upscale vehicle at the same time. We've got the perfect vehicle for them. Well, I can tell. I mean, I'm touching kind of the leather and all the surfaces that you touch, even the dashboard yeah. here. Uh, it's it's brand new look, right? Oh yeah, the, the, even, this the, even the dash is wrapped in leather, right? So so yes, very upscale all the way through for for those uh, uh, most discerning kind of luxury customers. Well, let's talk a little bit about drivetrain. Obviously, so one engine option for yep. the limited. And yep. this is a, this is top when, of the line. When when you buy the limited, you you we we assume you just want the top of, of the vehicle, right? So top there's very few options. We we put in the the uh, the powertrain. We put in all the technology that you see. You know the the, the one interior, one interior with the leather, 22 inch wheels on the outside with the polished aluminum finish. So very very upscale truck in and out. Don't have to think too hard. Cruise cab, color. shorter bed. Crew cab, five and a half right. foot box. But two-wheel drive, it starts as a two-wheel drive. We do have a two-wheel drive available for okay. those customers that would prefer that. And then we have the four-wheel drive as, uh, as also. Uh, so what's the starting price? About 67000 Okay. And this one, like it sits, is uh, in the low 70s, 70, 72, 73. So for the two-wheel drive, well, with destination, it's about, what, 68? Yeah. And then you can add four-wheel drive. Um, and I, I noticed, you know, you can add more stuff like on this truck, like bed liner, like a tailgate step, yep. but not, but it's fully loaded. Is yeah, it, is it yeah. We, we, we put a lot of those feet, uh, most features in uh, for the limited, but we do leave a couple things for those customers to choose. Like a bed liner is a great example. Um, there's a lot of customers really like our spray and bed liner. I put it in my own truck, right? For what I do with it, it's phenomenal. But uh, if you're a, a high end customer and you're using this for Put your motorcycle in sometimes you know i have actually have a friend who bought one that he's a motorcycle guy he didn't want that spray and bed liner he likes the painted bed look okay. he puts a bed mat in so we want to make sure okay. you've got that that option available to you sure um then um, actually there's one more thing i want to talk about before we wrap up is we get questions all the time maybe every other day and recently there's a person who emailed me and said that he put in a deposit on a seven liter v8 ford raptor that he ordered the V8 in the Raptor. Uh, is, is, there, is there truth to that? Um, no, we don't have a seven liter in the lineup at this point. We uh, The 3.5 EcoBoost is a phenomenal powertrain for the Raptor. We're very happy with it. The customers have been ecstatic about it, the power that it perform that it gives, right? 510 foot-pound of torque is is uh, uh, class leading, right? Nobody else in the halftone segment even gets to the torque level we have with our 3.5 EcoBoost, let alone this high output version. So the feedback has been great. The customers have been great. The 3.5 high output EcoBoost is our Raptor powertrain. Uh, and, uh, and, and so I would uh, caution 
question uh, customers when they go to dealers if, if they're hearing something different about that right now. Yeah, so guys, there is no seven liter coming. You know, for <laughs> you heard it from Ford, from Brian here, and um, I just wanted to set the record straight. Right now, there is no plan, so please be careful out there. If somebody's selling you from the factory a V8 Raptor or a limited truck, then there's something wrong. Right, yeah. The, the, <laughs> both of these vehicles have one powertrain in them, and it is a fantastic powertrain. So, top of the segment in power. You wouldn't, you, you, it's, it's been phenomenal. So, so I noticed the seats are very comfortable, but have you done other things so like the suspension for the limited specifically? <laughs> and w what are some of the capability numbers? I know the towing numbers are a little bit lower. Well, so, so the suspension is tuned a little bit differently, right? It's, uh, it's with, this has 22 inch wheels on it, so you have to kind of tune the shocks a little differently. It'll feel a little more sport like when you drive it but the but the the capability is actually very strong in this truck the uh the towing is 11,100 pounds uh in the two-wheel drive 9,300 in the four-wheel drive um uh the payload's over 1,500 pounds right so really really capable truck at the same time the, the first and foremost what we know is when people buy a truck they need that truck capability that truck functionality there's a lot of other vehicles out there if you don't need a truck but when you when you need that truck that's what you're buying it for and so we start with that and then we look at a vehicle like the limited and say okay well there's those customers that really want the the most in the tech technology the, 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 and, uh, and luxury appointments and so we want to make sure we've got a truck for them and that's what the Limited really is. So what's limiting the truck? I mean, I know F-150 is rated like over 13,000 uh, pounds for towing if you configure it correctly, you know, with, with other configurations. Yep. So is it just kind of like the wheel and tire and the suspension packages? Is that kind of the yeah, limiting? Yeah, so wheels, tire, suspension, that is, but when you really look at 11,000 pounds, that's, uh, you know, well, two years ago that was class leading. It's a, it's a tremendous amount of capability for a half-ton truck. So when we do our gauntlet towing test in Colorado, we use about 9,000 pounds, yep. maybe 9,500 pounds to go all the way up the mountain at 7% grade. And when you do that actually with people in the truck i mean you're maxing out some of the gross vehicle weight uh gross combined weight and some of the payload numbers so that's and that's a lot of weight already yep yep and so you always want to check that right the vehicle's gross vehicle weight rating uh the gross combined vehicle weight rating with the trailer to make sure that you're you're equipping it properly or, or, or putting the right trailers on but when you really look at the half ton segment um you know the, the majority of customers tow in that seven eight nine thousand pound range so when you get a truck that does 11 um it just gives them that confidence that it's going to handle whatever they're pulling behind it then their gear and all that kind of stuff so um yes it can tow 11,100 pounds and, and we will have customers that do that and it'll be great but it but it's really also giving confidence those folks that tow that kind of eight thousand pound trailer yeah if you're towing eleven thousand pounds regularly get a heavy duty truck well, well this will this will do it. Uh, yeah. But we also have the the, the, the super duties, which okay. uh, uh, also then you would you know you could you could go to that look and and it probably would be a, a little easier towing for you. All right, and finally, so are there multiple color options, or for the interior or in the exterior? The exterior does have uh, four color choices. The interior, this is uh, this is the one That's interior. That's how it comes. The, yep, the Camelback leather uh, is, is the interior trim for it. All right, well, thanks for showing us the truck. No, thank you. I appreciate you coming out today. Thank you very much.